Did you know that making a pattern in Adobe Illustrator is actually quite easy? Welcome to Graph Tutorials. I'm Shiva and in this video we're going to take a look at how you can make a pattern in Adobe Illustrator in just four steps. So as you can see, I already have some vector uh, objects and I have an image. Now let's start with the image because there's a difference between the vector items and the image image items your image you can see here that my image is linked it says linked file here in the layers window now select the image with your selection tool go to object pattern make and you will get an error saying that patterns cannot be made with a linked file just press ok Keep your objects of your file selected and go to the links window. And if you don't have the links window, you can go to window and then select links. Select your file in the links window, press on the, I like to call it hamburger icon, and then choose embed images. Now in the layers window, you can see that the linked file is changed to image and your image has been embedded. Image still selected. Go again to Object, Pattern, Make. Adobe tells you that the pattern will be added to your swatches panel, which it also opens. Press OK. And now you can see how your pattern will look. You're making a pattern with an image at this moment, which makes your options quite limited, but we will check everything out in just a second. Give your pattern a name if you want. Uh, let's call it reindeer without spelling errors. And then you can choose what kind of tile type you want. You can choose grid, that's a default, brick by row, brick by column, hex by column, and hex by row. Just let, keep it on the default for now. You have your width and your height. Uh, size style to art is minimally visible because you're working with a square picture but it does give you the option to adjust your h and v spacing and the h spacing is your width and v spacing then of course is your height and as you can see it makes rows between your images you can choose how many copies you want five by five nine by nine that's all adjustable but that's about it because you're working with an image now let's say you think this is okay this is what you want then you can click on done and it looks like your pattern disappears but it doesn't disappear it's in your swatches menu as you can see here you have reindeer and you can say i want to save this reindeer pattern you can click on the swatch libraries menu and then you can say save swatches and if you've saved it and you want to use it in a later stage you can go to user defined which is now grayed out uh, in my case because i haven't saved a default a personal pattern yet but if you have one user defined then that will show you your pattern you saved that's using an image and now let me make a new layer and then if you take your rectangle tool with your pattern you just created selected you make a rectangle and as you can see it fills it with your pattern that was making a pattern with an image and now let's see what it is making a pattern with a vector uh, i have some vector icons here which you can make yourself you can go to Unsplash, Pixabay, Envato elements to download if you want, if you don't want to make it yourself. Select all your vector objects you want to use with your selection tool and then go to object, same as before, pattern, make. Now, same notice, it will be put in the swatches panel and you get your swatches, your tile, your pattern window. First I will give it a name, gift. And then I will say I would like to have 9x9. Nine nine. But as you can see, my pattern doesn't really look that all that nice. And here is the thing with vector I items. You can change your pattern and the pattern is live. And Illustrator follows along and it adjusts your pattern based on what you're changing. So as you can see here, I'm just going to move some things around, make some things bigger and smaller. And as you can see, Illustrator 
just fixes everything for me, adjusts my pattern so that everything is updated based on what I am doing. Just going to quickly make some changes here so you can see. And then we have this. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Now we have this. If I now say size style to art, you see what happens. It compresses the tile to my objects I'm using. And then you can still adjust your H and V spacing if you would like. So adjustable as you go, you can make changes um, until you like your pattern and it's exactly how you want it to be. You can choose dim copies to make them more or less opaque. And then the same as before, you can choose your tile type and your grid type. Now, if you're finished, press done. Seems like it's, it disappeared, but it isn't. We take our rectangle tool. We make sure we have selected our gift pattern and the swatches menu, and then we can make a rectangle filled with the pattern we just made, but it doesn't stop there. You can change this pattern even after you finished. You just double click it and the uh, swatches menu. And as you can see, it opens again and you can make some changes and just adjust as you go. And the pattern will adjust itself and update as you're working with it. And then once again, click done. And that's it. That's four easy steps to make a pattern in Adobe Illustrator. Select the items you want to use, go to object pattern, make, tweak your pattern, how you would like to have it, say done, save it if you would like to save it. And that's it. It's as easy as that. Let me know in the video below. If you like this video, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. I will try my best to respond to you and help you where needed. Maybe also press the thumbs up button if you liked it and the subscribe button if you would like to see more of my videos. And for now, stay creative, have a very nice day and I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you.